you guys know we always take a bit of a look ahead. As a matter of fact, I just got to say, man, a lot of people really hitting me up saying, I love the look ahead. So we're going to bring it to the people. We're hitting you with it now. I'm going to let Al take the lead on this one. Al, what do we have coming down the pipe? Uh, you know, as far as uh, – so, yeah, we have a week off next week, uh, which, again, is uh, definitely needed. Uh, if you, you could probably tell I have, like, a, a runny nose right now because I've just been, like, dealing with – the worst allergies for the past like two weeks. So hopefully, you know, summer will, will get closer. We'll get out of spring and I'll, I won't sound like uh, I'm underwater here, but uh, <laughs> anyways, so next on the, the next pay-per-view or sorry, the next fight card, uh, you know, the main event is pretty lackluster in Augusta Sakai and the uh, Rosen strike. But I got to tell you this card, this card has so many good fights. It's, uh, you know, just take a look at the card. I, I haven't really handicapped it all that much. Uh, but, you know, there's just so many, so many good fights on this card. Uh, um, we got uh, Maquan Americani against Nate Landwehr, which is a, a pretty great fight. Uh, what else do we have? We have Alir Latifi against Tanner Bozer, which I think, you know, that's, a Lear Latifi is not that great, but I see Tanner Bozer right now at like minus 195, which I, I think there's some value there. And then uh, uh, Muslim Salikov against Fr- Francisco Trinaldo. And I don't think we haven't seen Trinaldo since the that stop the fight moment with Dan Hardy. And Trinaldo's like 40, and uh, Muslim Salikov sitting at minus 210 right now. Uh, that's a pretty good one. But besides that, because honestly, uh, I haven't. Is there anything? Uh, oh, and there's another one. Uh, Alessio De Chirico against Roman Delizzi. That's a pretty decent fight. I just scrolled That's a really good it. fight. Yeah. But uh, and then we got the news, I guess, tonight. Maki Patolo was supposed to fight uh, Dusko Todorovic. But I guess Todorovic is still on this card. But they're looking for a, a short notice uh, fight for him. But again, uh, oh, and Jordan Levitt too. Jordan Levitt against uh, Claudio uh, Pulis. That's a pretty good one. And then Marcin Tibera against Walt Walt Harris. That's a pretty good one. It's a pretty good card, man. Um, it, it I I I want to look ahead to UFC two uh, sixty three. But before we do that, is there anything on this uh, just quickly that you got your eye on? Man, Al, straight up. There's one fight that I'm looking at right now. And again, folks, this is this is a, a man. I don't even know if I should drop this on the people right now. Obviously, this is all pre-fight lean. I'm seriously looking at this card since it's two weeks out from today for the absolute first time. But uh, there's one line on here that is – it looks – tremendously off to me based off of what we've seen out of both fighter as of late. Um, you know what? Let's, let's just give it to the folks, man. I'm going to, I'm going to say right now, listen though, uh, I'll, I'll do warning. Okay. I could change my mind on this, but I'm going to virtually oh, yeah, guarantee. I'm going to virtually guarantee. I won't be Miguel Baeza. At minus 135 over Santiago Ponzinibbio. I'm, I, I honestly thought I was going to see minus 185, minus 200 Miguel Baeza. That's where I'm looking at that and still thinking that might be a feasible play right there. I'm probably going to have to bet this right now because why do I have a feeling I'm the one right now that's probably going to kick this off and we may – I'm going to tell you right now, that number is not sticking around there at all. As a matter of fact, let me see where uh, – let me see where that opened up because I wouldn't be surprised it, if this has already moved. No, it bleed. It opened oh up. Oh, my God. Okay, plus now plus this was – the the bookmakers, they got this one wrong. Miguel Baeza opens plus money. This is unreal. Yeah, the run's already begun. Um, from what I can see, Ponzinibbio, he's got a case of the Tony Ferguson's. This guy is – an imposter, a shell of the former fighter he once was. Am I saying he can't win the fight? Not at all. 
Am I saying he's not going to look vastly improved than we saw him last time? Maybe he does. Al, I'm really targeting this one right now. So um, that seems incredibly – I would have Baeza so much more heavily favored than where he sits right now. Um, I'm going to just tell the people right now, I think that's one you probably – jump on right now let me just throw that one to the people and i will be shocked if ponzinibbio wins that fight i think baeza probably takes him out round two at the latest ponzinibbio looks washed from uh from my personal estimations and by ba- baeza's absolutely no joke he just really doesn't have the name value and i think ponzinibbio you look at the resume right before he had that infection the huge time off very impressive stuff and i think we're having a little bit of a hangover even though he got absolutely dusted in his last fight against a guy from a striking standpoint, nowhere near as dangerous as a Miguel Baeza. That one's leaping. Al, sometimes you you get a fight, a line that leaps out at you. That one's leaping out at me. So uh, let me hit the people with that. But Al, I like like where your head's at. Let's look at the next pay-per-view. 